So it seems like many people are a bit disappointed with the overall effects of the Yin skin. I understand why, especially when you compare it to the new Julian skin, which the effects look way cooler and they seem to have put more effort into that one. Regardless, Yin also received a pretty decent buff. Now his ult has a little bit of longer range, which is really helpful to catch those squishes from the opponent's backline. One of the things I learned from my previous matches with Ying, and I noticed I kept making the same mistake. I was using the first skill too early, which by the time I reached the target, the extra movement speed had already run out. You want to wait until you reach a bit closer to the target before using his first skill to catch up. Another turn of Ying is that he can easily turret dive a long target and come out on scratch. Notice how I'm not using the all on Kimi, because here it seems that she's 100% dead. Instead, I will save for the next target. What I don't like is that even though you already ulted, if they see the user in the animation, it just gets cancelled. When the opponents have tons of CC, you gotta try your best to maneuver through them and get to the opponent backline. Fredder is quite broken right now. To be frank, it's not a bad idea to either first pick him or just ban him. What a godlike ruby. This is absolute BS. Not sure if the cancelling after the animation has already started is intentional or is a bug. Remember, patience and timing are key for a perfect execution. Actually, I feel bad for Ruby, since I kind of baited her to her death. Vale probably would have gotten the kill if he did the right combo. Oh. 
強くなりたい By looking at their movements on the map, I thought there was a good chance they were coming both to either defend or gang our marksmen. Honestly, I'm not sure why, but playing heroes with a cool new looking skin somehow makes you do a little bit better than usual with said hero. Once again, just waiting for a good opening to catch any of their main damage dealers I have encountered a lot of Yin users who just like to charge straight every time there's a team fight, which allows the opposition to easily CC him before he even has a chance to get close to their backline. Not gonna lie, I used to do the same mistake as well, but that's why making mistakes and learning from the experience is one of the best ways to learn. But the key is that you have to learn from it and try not to keep making the same mistake, which unfortunately many seem to skip this part. This is why I love Mobile Legends Bang Bang. You keep meeting new people and start forming bonds with them. You know what they say, strangers are just friends waiting to happen. We don't want to get overly confident here and make a silly throw. One throw and they can easily make a comeback, which happens very often especially in solo queue. I think Ying is a very strong fighter, but he is quite situational. You don't want to pick him when the opponents have a very good 1v1 heroes, such as Hayabusa. But if most of the opponents main damage dealers don't have a lot of mobility, then he's the perfect pick. Anyway, that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching, see ya.